There's no doubt that some people will say, and I can't quite say that I disagree with you, Sam, you've become a sellout. Hey everybody, my name is Sam and welcome back to SamCraft. Today's video is not project based. Today's video is not tool based. It's not a show and tell. This is more of a, guys, I wanna to talk to you about something type video. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. I gotta say, I've got the shop cleaned up pretty well. I've worked over the past couple of weeks straight trying to organize building cabinets, other things in my shop, and basically get my shop a lot more efficient setup for production workflows, and honestly, clean and organize this thing because it's not been done in a very, very long time, and some areas have never been done since I built my shop about five years ago. Now, while I'd like to say that this is all a little bit of spring cleaning here in the fall, I'm I'd be remiss if I was to tell you that there was not a larger motive driving this and pushing me towards maximizing space while at the same time giving up space. For anyone who follows me over on Instagram or Facebook, this isn't a plug by the way, you don't have to follow me there. In fact, according to my number of followers, I'm no good at it. You already have a little bit of a heads up on this news and so therefore you should not fall out of your chair as quickly as everyone else. All of this being said, what exactly is the news here at Samcraft? What is it that I have done or am going to be doing that will have some of you calling me a sellout? Even myself from the past would say it's a sellout. Mm, maybe not sellout, but cheating? I've decided to purchase, with my own money, a CNC router. Yep. So I say sellout and I say cheater because honestly that's been opinions I've had of others in the past and it's been a little bit of a conflict to one decide to get a CNC and then two to tell you guys that's right there was a point in time where I was just going to hide the fact I had one not say anything to you all not show it in my videos and just kind of let it be the hidden shop employee that helps me do things that I just never tell anybody about. Like, Igor. You're putting me on. Now you may be saying, hang on Sam, you you thought you were gonna hide a CNC in your shop? Where in the world were you thinking you were gonna put it, man? You show everything in your videos. We see everything, including those cannon jars up there for crying out loud. Well, that had a little bit to do with why I decided to come clean. But my thoughts as I was you know, deluding myself, thinking of secrecy and, you know, imagining such 007 James Bond moves as I would have to hide this machine. I was planning on putting it back here in the storage side of my workshop. What's uh, behind the wall there of the sub panel for electricity. You serious, Clark? Yeah, I know. Not that good of a hiding spot, especially when you consider, and as I learned more, that uh, CNC's run for hours on end. And that's a loud machine. So to try and do anything else in my workshop while it's running, I mean, people would wonder what you got going on over there, or they would just not watch because ugh, droning on and on and on. So after kicking that around in my head for a while, there were really two things that came down to make me go down this road of sharing with you guys. First, reality, honesty. There'd be no point in me trying to hide from you guys that I have a piece of machine that will take up a lot of my time. It's a lot of time and consideration to devote to learn, build, assemble, use, and work with this type of machine. So it wouldn't make sense to just not create content, yet spend a lot of time in my shop. 
that would feel weird. I feel kind of dirty. The second reason that I'm decided to share is because the actual model CNC that I've ordered, yeah, ordered, paid for, still not gotten, fingers crossed. The CNC that I bought is Carbide 3D's new Shapoko Pro model. This is designed to be a direct competitor with the Inventables X-Carve Pro. While they're not apples and apples, there are some big reasons why someone like me would choose the Shapoko over an X-Carve. Even before X-Carve and Carbide 3D released their Pro models, aimed for people like me, hobbyists, small-time woodworkers, people aspiring to scratch a living doing woodworking, I was still decided to go with Shapoko. I was going to buy their XXL model, be happy with it, and I had done all my research and said, yep, this is it. This is the one I want to spend my money for. Not long after deciding I would like to get one, I kind of went through the stages of denial, like I'm not going to spend the money, it's not worth it. And then Carbide 3D released their new Shapoko Pro model. Shortly after Carbide's release of their Pro, came in Venables Pro. I don't know, maybe they're in cahoots together and it's all just a big con against us, the consumer. Either way, I was hooked. I fell for it. Wow, all of that to be said, the model CNC I'm getting is a Carbide 3D Shapoko Pro XXL. It's the only model currently available right now in November 2020. So like I said earlier, one of the reasons of sharing was the model I'm getting. This is a brand new machine. So as a creator of YouTube videos, I know or feel like I know there will be a lot of people out there interested in this particular model. The unboxing, the assembly, the setup, the problems, the quirks, general uses, and just otherwise people who just want to see the new machine and then compare with others to decide what they might want to get. So being a YouTube creator, which I consider myself pretty much a professional creator, although don't think that that means I'm rolling in the Benjamins. <laughs> it's not the case. I just have very low overhead and I just really enjoy creating and making videos. So yeah, starving artist. Being in the self-proclaimed professional content creator box podium that I put myself in means that I want to capitalize on timely releases of content around the Shapoko Pro. As a subscriber, that means you guys are going to get hit with Shapoko videos for a while. I will try my best not to just completely abandon anything else for the time being, but it's going to consume my, me personally. So, you know, if it's not your cup of tea, if you're not totally interested in it, I understand if you check out for a little while. I mean, honestly, I would probably do the same as a viewer, unless it's something I'm genuinely interested in, or you just, I don't know, like watching me for some reason. So guys, don't worry. I'm still going to have other videos. I'm still going to have the same kind of style of videos I've been making, and it's not just going to totally become a CNC channel. I'll try my best not to do that to you guys, because while... It's interesting for me, and there may be an audience out there. I feel like I need to remain true to you guys and myself as far as the wide array of interests that I have and not just become a CNC channel. Now guys, don't worry. I'm not going to turn into a channel where I come in and say, hmm, I think I want to make a simple long grain cutting board for the house. Step one, go to the CNC and just cut it out. Done. <laughs> um, I promise I'm gonna try my best not to become one of those channels. Um, I'm gonna try. I mean, who knows? I may get the CNC and I may understand why guys are just like, forget it, table saw. I'm gonna cut boards on CNC from now on. I don't know. I can't tell you this much from what a little bit I know already, the software has a pretty steep learning curve. So that alone will slow me in my production of things on the machine. And it'll make me go back to my normal tools. So overall, I don't think that having the CNC is going to really drastically change my channel. I think it'll probably have an effect similar to whenever I got my wood lathe. A lot of the content kind of changed to turning and doing stuff like that for a little bit. And then it kind of settled down and kind of worked its way out and just became another tool in my workshop. I view the CNC as doing the same thing. There's going to be a lot of content released quickly, as quick as I can get it just so it can be out there in the Googles and internets and percolate for people who are searching for things. Hopefully they'll find my video, find it entertaining and educational and decide, eh, this guy's kind of cool. What else does he do? So we'll see. 
All right, so all that being said, let me show you guys why I went through all the shop organization, clean out my spot, and empty the corner. It's for that. This giant behemoth of a CNC table. This thing is five feet wide and four feet deep. There is nothing else in this shop that is that big as far as a tool, workbench, surface, or anything. It was really, really painful finding a spot for this table. It was very painful giving up the spot for the table. Wow. It is huge. Oh, boy. So there's going to be a build video coming out dedicated just for this table. It's going to be the first video of me, I guess, making something for the CNC world. It's going to be advertised as a $100 CNC table. Maybe it'll be beneficial for somebody that just wants a giant workbench. I don't know it's kind of specialized so that video will be coming up soon guys um hopefully you're interested maybe you want to see me build this it was a cool project to design and put together it only took two sheets of plywood and i had quite a bit left over as well this table dominates my shop and having the corner clean i did that for video reasons it's not something i would do if i was not a video creator in my workshop which that could actually be said about a lot of things. My workshop is more, I mean, let's be honest, it's more set up for a pretty video than just hammer the projects out. And the reason I know that is because my shop historically was hideous and messy and cluttered and I didn't care because I just hammered out the projects. Now I make videos and I don't make as many projects, but the shop is cleaner. So it's a balance. All right, guys, I think I've rambled on long enough. I did want to take the time to be honest and upfront with you all as my viewers and as me, as Sam of Samcraft, and let you know about what I have done, how I felt about it, and then also that the content will change a little bit for a little bit, a little bit for a little bit, and let you know the content will change a little bit for a time while I get up to speed with the CNC and get things produced, but then the channel as a whole should settle back down. I appreciate you watching as always. Leave me some comments down below, questions or whatever. I appreciate them and I read them all. So I think that's it guys. I'll see you next time in the workshop.